We are currently in Target right now, and we are about to do a Black Friday Pokemon shopping spree. So we're going to go around to a bunch of stores trying to find some Black Friday Pokemon items. And I figured Target would be the best place to start since they have $10 Pokemon 10s. That's right, $10 for Pokemon 10s. Let's go find them. Now I decided let's just see if there's any Pokemon Funko Pops here. And they actually do have a couple. They have Pikachu and they have Horsey right there in the very back but it looks like that is all they have and even the Funko Pops are not on sale. I'm trying to find some deals but we're also going to look at things that are not on sale in the video game section and honestly I would have thought that Pokemon Sword and Shield would have been on sale or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu but they are not on sale and neither is Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl but those just came out so I wouldn't expect that and looks like they do have a lot of copies however not on sale right now. They do have really neat Nintendo Switch controllers over here with this Pikachu, kind of has a little bit of a rainbow behind it. We got this Pikachu in a Mewtwo, kind of like a paint splatter type of situation. And then some more Pokemon Nintendo Switch controllers right there as well. But honestly, I'm liking that Pikachu and Mewtwo and that Pikachu kind of like rainbowish one. And then lots of Animal Crossing. Now I also spotted this adorable Snorlax like pillow and blanket set. I think it's a pillow and blanket set. Uh oh, I knocked one over. I'll I'll fix it. But yeah, I'm just the kind. Of, I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. I do love a good Snorlax and a good nap. Here's the other side and what the blanket looks like. It's got all the Kanto starters on it. Unfortunately, no Psyduck. And then looking at the other Pokemon section, a little bit of a disaster, but it's okay. It's okay. What I did notice right down here is they do have this Pikachu statue that actually lights up. You can see right there, I think the button is that Pokeball right down there, but I don't, $50 is the price. So $50 for this, and this is made by Jazzwares, the same company that makes all of this stuff as well. But I think there's a Mewtwo one out as well, but this is actually kind of neat for $50. This would make a nice little display piece in a, a background, especially if you do like YouTube videos or something like that, that'd be kind of neat. And then up here we have the Charizard. We got Greninja right over there. I think there's an Articuno, but it looks like they possibly do not have it. I'm gonna try to find it without knocking everything over. That's a Greninja. And that's actually a Greninja back there as well. So no Articuno. But let's keep looking around and see what other Pokemon items we can find. Gonna go ahead and take a look at the Pokemon Mega Constructs really fast. They got a Charizard and this right here, this Jumbo Pokeball, and it actually lights up, which is super, super neat. Another great display piece. And it'd be kind of fun to build it as well. But honestly, I'm kind of surprised by how much Mega Constructs are not here with Pokemon. I feel like I'm always seeing a bunch of it. We got the Kanto starters and we got the adorable Yamper. Breaking family, here it is, the Pokemon card display in Target. And as you can see, it is pretty much empty. There is only four tins left. So we're only gonna grab two. We're gonna grab the Pikachu and we're gonna grab the Eevee as well. Now these should be $10 Pokemon tins right here. Honestly, Breaking family, I'm really shocked they even still have them. Here's the other side right here, just in case you're curious. No tens left over here. I gotta say, I'm so happy we found the secret stash of Pokemon cards. I mean, it's not near where Pokemon cards would normally be. It's just in the middle of the clothes. So a nice secret Pokemon card stash. $10 Pokemon tens here at Target. I am hyped. I'm so excited about this. You all know I love a good deal, but let's keep looking around. All right, we're gonna double check just to make sure these are on sale. They should be $10, yes. There they are, $9.99. And just in case you're curious, there is no Pokemon cards in the Pokemon card section. I mean, oh, there's that right there, but I don't think you want to buy that. But that's literally, literally all. Uh-oh, someone lifted up a shelf. Is there cards down there? No, I don't think there is. But yes, no Pokemon cards. We found the secret Pokemon card stash. What is up, my breaking family? Send in some positive vibes in your direction. It is that time once again, our annual Black Friday Pokemon shopping spree. Now that doesn't mean we're gonna go wild and buy everything. No, we're really just kind of looking for the Pokemon deal and also trying to figure out what Pokemon items are out there for the holidays. Now our Pokemon Black Friday shopping trip is an annual video that we do here on this channel. We did it in 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, and we're doing it again this year. So maybe you're trying to find that perfect Pokemon gift or that best Pokemon card deal, those cheap 
Pokemon cards. We just got out of Target and now we are on our way to Burlington. Past few years, Black Friday shopping has been done just a little bit different to where Black Friday deals are usually now all week long. So we're actually filming this on a Wednesday. And then on Friday, we're gonna go back out again and you're gonna kinda see the video kinda combined of both days. So sit down, grab a snack, grab some H2O, stay hydrated. Let's have a good time. All right, we made it here to Burlington. Now we've had some luck in the past with finding some Pokemon items in here. So I'm hoping luck will strike twice. A little windy out. Okay, working our way to the very back of the store and I've already spotted a Pokemon item. Now this this one's a little bit older, so if you missed out on this one, this might be a great opportunity. We got Abra, and we got Pikachu right there with that uh, Pokeball. I think all of these are the exact same. Yeah, they're they're all the exact same, but they are twelve ninety nine a piece, which honestly, not a bad deal. I would have guessed about twenty dollars, so. $12, $13, not bad. I wanna see if there's any Pokemon cards around here because we have found Pokemon cards at Burlington before. Ah, uh, they got a llama. You all know how much I love llamas. Oh, right over here, I spotted another Pokemon toy. Now this is a little bit of an older one. This is a Pikachu and it is $4.99. So originally $9.99, so almost 50% uh, off there. Looking along here, seeing if we find any more Pokemon items. We are gonna check the front of the store because I have found Pokemon cards at the front. And then checking up here at the front where the checkouts usually are. You see the checkouts right up there. Sometimes there's Pokemon items along the, uh, the checkout aisles up here. I know some people have found celebrations However, I'm not seeing anything, but you gotta make sure that you're checking everywhere. And <laughs> actually right here, look at this. Marie, we got Evolving Skies, $9.99 for these three packs. Mm -hmm. Three packs of Evolving Skies right. for $9.99. Okay. I love a good Pokemon deal, we gotta get it. Okay. So it looks like they actually have three of them total unless I missed some other ones down there. They're all ice cubes, so go ahead and grab one more and then go check out. We were right down there. I'm checking down here as well, just to make sure that there's not any down here. Ugh. Check underneath the shelf. Oh, I should have checked underneath the shelf down there. Oh no, I'm not going back. We do have some SpongeBob socks right here. But seriously, I'm so hyped about this. $9.99, originally $12.99, right? Yeah, originally $12.99. Ooh, what if we got an alternate art inside of here? Oh, wait, you saw this? Oh, yeah. You saw the Animal Crossing controller? Oh, yeah. You don't want this one? No. But it's adorable. It is. Okay, how much is it? $14.99, not bad. Oh, wait a minute. Now I know Marie did not see this. $24.99. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Next up, we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. Now, usually they don't have Pokemon deals here, at least in the past they don't, but I wanna see what they have, what possibly might be there for us to get. Am I loud? No, coffee. <laughs> All right, go into the very back of the store just to see what Pokemon items they currently have. And it's the same stuff I feel like we see every time when we come to uh, Barnes and Noble. We got this Pidgeot. We got a couple plushies right there. The lonely, lonely Psyduck. Someone please rescue the Psyduck. And that is pretty much all. We're gonna look at the Funko Pops as well and just see if there's any, po oh, they actually have the uh, the Charmander, the silver Charmander right there. Then Ponyta right above it. If there's anything behind it. Nope, nope, but I did see right down here. We have another, we have another Charmander. And then another Charmander right up here. I don't think anybody likes Charmander. Oh, that reminds me of Charmander in the rain. Oh, great. That was a sad, sad episode. They do have a good amount of Pokemon manga currently in stock. This one right here kind of caught my eye. I choose you. Now I did look behind the register and unfortunately they have no Pokemon cards. Ooh, I like this one as well. Mewtwo strikes back. Here is Pokemon Adventure. So if you're looking for some Pokemon manga, Barnes and Noble. All right, literally as we were walking out, I went, wait, they got Pokemon cards. <laughs> they had moved them to like farther towards the door. door. Yeah, but we ended up getting some Fusion Strike, two of Fusion Strike, and then two of Evolving Skies. 419 each of those. I would imagine that Barnes and Noble will probably restock on Friday. Like I said, we're filming this on a Wednesday. So all right. Marie? Yes. Coffee at at what? It's not at 8 30 p.m. It's not coffee. I got peppermint hot chocolate. Sure you did. Sure you did. 
<laughs> we also got some Chipotle too. Mm -hmm. All right, next place we're stopping is Meyer. And uh, now this is a Midwest store, so you might not have this in your area, but we're gonna go inside and see if they have any Pokemon deals as well. Back here at the card section and on a Wednesday, they actually have some Pokemon cards. We got Shining Fates, a bunch of Shining Fates. And then right down here, we have the uh, Celebrations Pikachu VMAX collection boxes. Whew. I think, I, I think I'm gonna go with some Shining Fates right here. They actually have a lot of Shining Fates. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pick one. And then I'm gonna have Marie pick one as well. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. All right, uh-oh, is it missing a pack? It might have just fell behind there, but I'm not going to, I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna go with a different one. Let's go with, let's go with the one in the very, very back. Ugh. All right, I see four packs. Let's go with that one. Boom, perfect. All right, I've lost Marie, so I gotta find Marie real fast. Okay, Marie, yeah. if you could please pick out one of the Shining Fates boxes. As you can see, there is a bunch of them. So I'm gonna get one, I picked out one, and now you pick out one as well make sure you get the lucky one you're really searching aren't you you're counting all the way back what's your system here what what do you got going on you're looking for my lucky number and this is it doesn't work this what only what number nine nine okay this would be nine here you go that one's nine yep all right we'll go with that one coming down here to see what other pokemon items they have we have a greninja right there i don't see any psyducks i think uh I think we need some Psyduck situations going on, Marie. Huh? We have not found a single, well, we did find a Psyduck at Barnes and Noble, but other than that, we have not found another Psyduck anywhere. No, that's not Psyduck. That's important though. I know Psyduck's an evolution. you're correct, but that is not Psyduck. Taking a closer look though, however, this is what they currently have in stock. And it looks like the Pokemon items right here are 25% off. So this is the Pokemon two inch and three inch figure pack. So. 25% off of those at Meyer. Now I just price checked this Shining Fates and it says $20 each, a regular $29.99. We'll do that again here. Regular $29.99, save $10. I feel like $20 was always the price of these. However, it looks like we're kind of saving some money. And our next stop on our Black Friday shopping trip is going to be, you know it was coming at some point, we had to stop at Walmart. Now I'm not sure if they're doing any deals. Have we found any Pokemon deals in the past at Walmart? I'm not, No. I don't feel like we have. We haven't. Yeah, I, I agree but with we're you. Hopeful. We're hopeful. We're hopeful, we are hopeful, but we'll see what they just have in general. Ooh, general. No. Dollar general. No. Marie has already started to examine the Pokemon section and Marie, what mm. that's not, that's not Pokemon. Okay, it is kind of cute. Well, I'll give you that. Uh, but however, I don't see any Pokemon unless you spotted some somewhere that I do not see. I see zero Pokemon cards. Let's check underneath the shelf. Oh, we got something. I don't know what that is. I don't know if these are, I don't know. I literally know nothing about Hot Wheels. So, but, but yeah, okay. Now, as we were walking back here, I did find a bunch of displays, not Pokemon displays, but just displays in general of saying there is items that will be on sale, but not till the day of Black Friday. So as you can see right here, here is a bunch of video game displays and it does say they will not ring up at the register. So um, November 26th at 5 a.m. is when all these Black Friday deals will start to happen. We got uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. And it looks like these are the prices right there. So the sticker corresponds with the uh, the game itself. So Super Mario Maker 2 has a green sticker, which means it would be $39. And I wanted to show you this just in case you did not know, but Capri Sun currently has Pokemon on the package right here. You see Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, where it looks like you can win one of 500 Nintendo Switches. So if you are someone that likes to collect um, Pokemon packaging like this, like food items. I am someone that likes to do that. Uh, this might be something you want to add to your collection right here. I know I keep spinning this around, but we have Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplip right there with all of the stats, as you can see right there at the very bottom. And I think even the drinks inside are uh, Pokemon themed. Uh, I do believe so, the packaging of the drinks. And looking at the Pokemon card section at the front of the store, first thing I spotted was this Eternatus VMAX. See if there's anything underneath it. 
I'm not seeing a whole lot of Pokemon stuff. There's some plushies right there. Oh, okay, that was kind of scary. Um, Pokemon, no Pokemon? What about underneath the shelf? Anything? No? No? Okay, it looks like that might be, unless there's a booster pack hiding down there. No, okay, so it looks like that might be the only Pokemon card item that Walmart currently has. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right now. Respectfully pass on it. They do have some Magic the Gathering down there. All right, on to the next store. And the next stop is this Walgreens. Now they probably are not doing any Pokemon deals, but it will be interesting to see what they have during Black Friday week. Hello, goodbye. Now the interesting thing is, is Marie decided that she did not want to come into Walgreens. And uh, I'm here with the candy by myself, so she's not here to stop me if I go after my favorite, the Reese's Trees. But I'm gonna try to be good. I'm gonna try to resist the Reese's. They have a small little section over here, and I figured, hey, let's go ahead and check and see if there's anything Pokemon related. And I don't see anything, although I do see mini brands, and Marie does love mini brands. Down here where they usually keep some Pokemon cards, there's literally none, not a single pack of any cards. They do have some Pokemon. We got a Goldeen with those Kanto vibes. I don't even see a sign for a deal. I kid you not, as I'm walking back this way, look what I found. I found Pokemon cards right here. We got, oh, oh, gross, no. But I haven't opened these up before. Oh no, okay, I gotta get these. And then we have some Battle Styles mini binders with one booster pack. And then right down here, we have these uh, Ultimate Collection 8 boxes and I kid you not, this is so light. It's almost like there is nothing inside of this. For $14.99, oh my goodness, okay. There's not even a booster pack inside. As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna go ahead and get one so we can test these out and see what is inside. Hopefully there's some sort of deal going on with this or this right here. So this was literally just at the end of the candy section right here. So we were just over there and then over there. So if you're looking for these in your local Walgreens, trying to find some Walgreens Pokemon cards, check the uh, check the end caps. Also, Marie loves this kind of stuff. And since she got peppermint earlier, I'm gonna get this for her as a nice little surprise. Marshmallow or caramel or milk chocolate. Honestly, I think she's gonna like the peppermint the best. So we're gonna get this for her and uh, give her a nice little surprise when we get back to the car. Look, oh look. So unfortunately, our Ultimate Collection 8 was not on sale. Neither was the other item. But Marie, I did find one item you might find very, very interesting. This right here. <gasps> oh, look at it. And it's oh. peppermint too, right? That's exactly what I did in there. It's got a little bell on it. Was it this was peppermint, right? Uh -huh. See? This. See? It was this. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I knew you were going to like that. It was either that there was caramel, there was milk chocolate, there was something else, but I was like, I think peppermint was the best choice. It was. Ah, uh, yes. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. And just like that, it is now Friday. Did you like that transition? <laughs> just, a, just a quick jump from Wednesday to Friday. It is now <laughs> actually the day of Black Friday, and we're gonna continue this uh, Black Friday shopping trip to Best Buy. Now, I don't feel like I've ever seen any deals in the past at Best Buy. However, that could be different this year. Could be different. So we're gonna go around to some more stores on actually Black Friday. So let's continue. And surprisingly, they actually have packs of Pokemon cards for $3.99 each. So it looks like none of these are on sale. Fusion Strike, Battle Styles, and Evolving Skies. And then right down here, we also have the silver figures of Charmander, Pikachu, and more Charmander back there. And then just the Battle Academies down there. So it looks like nothing's on sale, but however, Marie, if you could pick out some, why don't you just pick out like one of each set? Okay. So go with Evolving Skies, Battle Styles, and Infusion okay. Strike. Yeah. All right. So let's see what you're what you're going for here. Oh, we've got a, a strategy maybe. Oh, oh but no. Going never, with that Sylveon. Never okay. A okay. And then Battle Styles. Battle Styles have been kind of rough, rough for us lately. Speaking of rough, you, you, see, you get it? I, you get it? I get it. Okay. <laughs> battle styles, battle styles. And 
Oh, going for the one in the very back. All right, perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, check out, and maybe they might be on sale, but I don't think they are. And here we have it, all three booster packs that Marie picked out, and our next stop is gonna be GameStop, which is like right over there-ish. But these were $3.99, they were not on sale, so it looks like Best Buy is not doing any Black Friday deals, but that's okay, $3.99 is still a good price. Now another place you should never forget to check, we're talking Kohl's. We might even end up walking out with some Kohl's cash. I have already spotted a Psyduck in the wild right there, Marie. We gotta get the Psyduck. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. The poor lonely Psyduck. He's not lonely, he got friends. Oh, that's true. Psyduck does have a few friends there, but here's a nice Pokemon display right here in the back of Kohl's. We got some plushies right there, a nice holiday plush and some like little battle sets, but that's really about all. So this Kohl's location started keeping the Pokemon cards back here with the electronic stuff. And right here, we have a bunch of Fusion Strike check lane blisters and then some Pokemon tins right back there. I think down there, I even see some chilling rain hiding. All right, so I had Marie pick out some booster packs right here. We ended up going with two of each and then two chilling rain. Now these are, I think five? $5.99 each? Yes, $5.99 each. Now there is a buy one, get one half off thing deal going on, but I don't know if that includes the Pokemon, so we're gonna find out. Also that Pokemon tin was $30, $30, Whew, no way. No way. Woo! Breaking family, I am absolutely surprised that we found the $10 Pokemon tins at Target, the Black Friday Pokemon cards at Target. We found them barely. There was just a few left. We got the Eevee, we got the Pikachu each for $10 each, and we're gonna go ahead and start off today's Pokemon opening with these tins right here that we got at Target, the $10 Target Pokemon tins. Ugh. Now this video is going to be a little bit, a little bit of, of, of a different layout. Um, so obviously now that uh, Black Friday shopping is kind of like all week long and not kind of just isolated to the Friday itself, um, I filmed multiple days. So we filmed on Wednesday, uh, filmed on Friday. Now how you're going to see this video is... Uh, <laughs> It's gonna be more weird for me, I guess, than it is for you, uh, because it'll just be like one long video. But uh, after, like, we're gonna open up the stuff that I found on Wednesday, and then we're gonna go to opening up the stuff that I found on Friday, um, if I found anything, because I'm actually recording this part before, <laughs> before Friday, if that makes sense. So halfway through this opening, you're gonna see me uh, essentially be in different clothes. So. But it's gonna make sense to you watching it because you're gonna see me at the store for um, the Wednesday portion and then at the store uh, for the Friday portion and then we'll get back to this opening right here. And then once again, you'll see the opening for the, the Wednesday portion and then the Friday portion. So it's just kind of put together a little bit strange since it's all, you know, spread out throughout the entire week. Hopefully that made sense. Manky punch. Even though I was discussing, I was still able to avoid the manky punch. Um, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Energy! So technically, as I'm recording this Pokemon opening right now, I have yet to record uh, <laughs> the part where I go out on Friday. So anyways, let's continue on. I figured I'd give you just a little bit of a behind the scenes situation. All right, Vivid Voltage up next. Now first pack with a Battle Styles. Now this $10 for these Pokemon tins. Uh, this is something that Target usually does every single year. Um, you can even go back to previous years here on the channel. One of them, one of the years, I think it was 2019, they did $10 Hidden Fates tins, which was absolutely wild. So you can go back and watch that video if you want to and see some energy $10 Hidden Fates tins. Can you imagine? Going into a Lycanroc and a Togekiss VMAX. Woo! All right. Second booster pack in, and we're starting off strong. You know I love a good Pokemon deal. I love me some cheap Pokemon cards, that's for sure. 
Let's go ahead and sleep that up right here. <clears throat> But like I said, this is like an annual event that we do here on the channel every single year. And it's kind of fun to go back and look at previous years and kind of see what was on sale, see what was on the store shelves, obviously. Um, you know, even last year it was a lot different than it is this year. We got Rowlet, Jigglypuff, going into Energy, put that in the filing cabinet right back there. We got Lunatone, Golette. And a Star Raptor for the rare. There's the code card right there. I give out the code cards in every single video. I never keep them. I always give them to you, the Breaking Family. So if you enjoy a good code card, make sure you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss a, a single video. I do upload four to five times every single week. We are on the road, officially on the road. The official, official road. No longer are we on a different road looking at the official road. We are now on the official road to 1 million subscribers. Energy. So do me that favor, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Breaking Family. A nice positive community we have here where everybody is welcome, nobody is judged. We leave the negativity at the door. There's enough negativity in the world, why do we need more? Let's just have fun, enjoy some Pokemon together, be ourselves, Ugh. have a good time, right? And create some memories. We created some today. Eevee V right there. That is a promo, as you can see. Boom. And there is the code card for that one. I'll put that back there ever so gentle. All right, Pikachu and Eevee. Two great choices. Now, I believe there's also an Eternatus tin as well. I assume the exact same booster pack selection. But for $10, honestly, a fantastic Pokemon card deal. I'm going to set that over there. Fantastic Pokemon card deal for $10 for Booster Pack. A promo card. You get a 10 that you can store your cards in if you want to, or maybe you can store your coins, whatever you want to inside of that. But $10, uh, this is literally my favorite Pokemon card deal every single year. Um, GameStop usually has a pretty good deal sometimes. Energy! Uh, but the $10 Pokemon 10s are always, always one of my favorites. We got Indeedy! And an Agislash for the rare. There's the code card right there. Vivid Voltage up next. We had pretty good luck on that last Vivid Voltage booster pack from the previous 10. Let's see if we can kind of keep that luck going, Breaking Family. If you enjoyed today's video, you know, going out and about, hit that like button. If you want to see more of the out and about stuff, that's what I like to do here on this channel. Take you out and about on an adventure. Hit the like button. And... All right, all right, all right. You can't be a winner inside of every single Vivid Voltage booster pack. It's fine, it's fine. Darkness Ablaze. Now we do have a chance at a Charizard inside of this one. Oh, okay, how, how crazy would that be if we pulled a Charizard from a $10 Pokemon 10, a cheap Pokemon card 10. That would be wild. All right, energy, we'll put that right back. Energy. We'll put that right back there. We got Turbo Patch, Dart Tricks, Aria Dose, and a Galarian Stunfisk V. Full art goodness. Uh, oh, with, with those eyes. It's giving me the eyes. What are you? What's, what's up? Are you upset at me? Are you angry at me? There's the code card right there. What did I do? What did I do to you? I, I, I gave you a nice home here. Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon card section. Always serving Bagel Bites in the VIP section. All right, here we go. Put that back there. Rebel Clash. We still actually need some cards from Rebel Clash for our Pokemon card binder. You can see all the binders right down there. We always try to pull one of every single card, even all the reverse hollows. Every single card we try to pull. Um, but once the set gets somewhat old, energy then it's okay to trade or buy them as singles, things like that. We recently started doing that with Cosmic Eclipse and we're so close to having a 100% Cosmic Eclipse set. All right, let's go into the next booster packs. We'll actually kind of, I guess, maybe go in order of how we found things. So next up at Burlington, formerly known as Burlington Coat Factory. It's now just Burlington. I, I recently, within the past year-ish, learned that myself. Evolving Skies 3-Packs. 
for $9.99. Normally $12.99. Honestly, I think this is a wild deal right here. I, if, if you could find this right here, absolutely buy some of this as a gift, as a present for somebody, or maybe for your collection for yourself, but Burlington definitely delivers sometimes, that's for sure. So do not pass up on Burlington. You might find a secret stash of Pokemon cards, kind of like, kind of like that secret stash that we found in Target. That display was just randomly amongst like the shoes and the clothes, like it wasn't even with the Pokemon card. So that was definitely uh, Target having like a little secret stash Pokemon card situation, that's for sure. Because there was literally no other Pokemon cards. So you would have to either one, know they put it in a different location, or two, just randomly stumble across them. Because like I said, literally no other Pokemon cards throughout the entire store except for on that display. Fletchling, fly away bird, fly away. We got a Hippo Energy, we'll put that right back. Wow. <laughs> Ribombe, Flaffy, and a Hollow Rare Zygarde. There's the code card for that one. All right, going into the next one. If you didn't see Friday's video, make sure you check it out. There is a giveaway inside of that video. So you will not want to miss it. I mean, li I'm literally giving away every single Pokemon card from that video. So we have Fletchling, Scraggy, Timpole, another Hippo, Energy, a double Hippo situation? Golduck. Oh, so close. I know, so close. Maybe there'll be a Psyduck in the last pack. Dream Ball and a Leafeon V Evolution goodness from a cheap Pokemon card pack. That's what I'm talking about, Breaking Family. I love myself a good deal. I like to try to find those good deals. And I think we got some today, definitely. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. Here we go. <clears throat> right up there in the VIP section. Code card right there. Oh, that's, I don't know. Did I give that one to you? All right. Next booster pack. So Hollow Rare in the first one. Ultra Rare Pokemon card in the second one. Third one, can we continue the luck? All from a Burlington 3-pack. Litleo, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Hitmonchan, Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. We got a Ursa Ring going into Boldor with an alternate art Leafeon V. That's what I'm talking about. All from a Burlington 3-pack cheap Pokemon cards. We got ourselves an alternate art. Woo! I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just as happy, I'm just, why can't you be happy? Come on, just this one time, no? All right, one day, one day you'll be happy, I promise. You'll be happy about our pulls here. Leafeon V Alternate Art, whoo! That is a beautiful, beautiful card and it, it goes great with the season right now. All the leaves, it's currently autumn. I mean, it's perfect. There's the code card right there. And that was from all three packs. Had a hollow rare or better inside of it. Oh my goodness. Marie is definitely going to be happy about that. Whoop. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So beautiful. All right. We have it. I don't know. That's going to be hard to, that's going to be hard to top, right? Going into the next one. You can see the sticker there once again. Whew, I cannot believe that. There is the code card for that ice cube. Let me ice you a question. Did you see that coming? You probably didn't. I know it's it's a cringy joke, but I can't help it. I find it funny every time, okay? Here we go. Let's go into our next three pack. I'm gonna kind of move these around, maneuver them around. All right, here we go. That was a lucky three pack. That might have easily been the best, the best Pokemon three pack I've ever opened uh, from Evolving Skies. Easily. We got Cutie Fly going into an Applin, kind of apple season as well, right? Energy Boost Shake. Ah, so close. So close. Rabambe, Swablu, and a Ludicolo Hollow Rare. I mean, the luck in these is just non stop. Non stop. All right, let's see if we can keep it going. Let's see if we can get another hollow rare or better. Whew. 
Woo, okay. We got Swablu, Litleo, going into a energy skip to my loom. We got Ribombe, Hop It, and a Hollow Rare, Holographic Pokemon card. Right, you, right there. Burlington, if I knew where to send some fan mail, I would write you a nice letter. Let's see what I did there. Going into Teddy Ursa, Pikachu, Energy, Lantern, Treasure Energy, going into Wishy Washy, and another Hollow Rare, Slacking. All six packs from Burlington, all these Burlington Pokemon cards had a hollow rare or better easily, easily some of the best three packs right there. You just witness, witnessed it. You just, you just witnessed it. Breaking family. Code card right there. Whew. How do we, I mean, how do we continue after that? <laughs> all right, here we go. We got four more packs. Let's try to continue the luck. Actually, Psyduck, I'm gonna need some good luck. I'm gonna need your help, okay? You too, you too. Even though, even though you're not, not the nicest to me all the time, still getting some good luck vibes from you as well. All right, let's continue this. Let's, uh, since we just did Evolving Skies, we'll continue with the Evolving Skies from Barnes & Noble. Now, there was no deals that I know of going on at Barnes & Nobles when we went. However, as you saw, they did have some Pokemon cards. All they had was booster packs. They had nothing else, no tins, no boxes. It was just Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. So, um, but Barnes & Nobles is always a good place to check. Teddy Ursa going into, and they're all retail price too. These were all uh, either uh, $4.19 or $3.99. Both I kind of consider uh, retail MSRP uh, price. Ampros. Sylveon V, another ultra rare. Breaking family, we are on a lazy river of ultra rares, that's for sure. Code card right there. Evolving Skies treating us very, very well today, that's for sure. Whoop! I know that Leafeon, uh, you already saw it go inside of the binder. Okay, we'll go into the next one. And then we'll go into Fusion Strike. And then after that, we are going to... Uh, we're going to Shining Fates after that. We got Woo Bat. Hey, I'm smiling too. I hope you're smiling as well. It doesn't hurt to just uh, give one smile a day at least. Just one. Psyduck, the best Pokemon in the entire world. You get your own section right there. And you don't have to be around anybody to smile. It's okay to smile for yourself. It really is. Moon and Sun badge, we got Snow Leaf badge, and a Smeargle for the rare code card. All right, let's go into Fusion Strike. Hey, I count that pack as a win. We got Psyduck, the best Pokemon in the entire world. Um, you can argue with me in the comments. It's fine. We all know it's Psyduck. We all know it's Psyduck. I mean, you can tell, try to tell me a better Pokemon than Psyduck. I don't think it's going to work because we all know Psyduck's the best, right? We have, ooh, another Smeargle situation. Going into a uh, Tinamo, Galarian Meowth, just got back from the dentist, no cavities, congratulations. We have a Dunsparce, Basculin, and a uh, Gorbis for the rare. All right, last Fusion Strike pack from Barnes & Noble, our nice Barnes & Noble Pokemon cards. And then we are gonna go into Shining Fates. Still need a lot of shinies from Shining Fates. That is a hard, Booger Squad, that is a hard, and where do the boogers go? Right there underneath the table. Um, I know, I'm lame. Uh, there is a lot of shinies in that set. Energy, so hard to complete. Beware the good pulls, and a Meloetta singing us a song. Hey, you might be singing us that, uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought I had a song in my head, and I, I really don't. <laughs> What's a popular song? I can't think of any. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, no. I put myself on the spot, and I can't think of anything. 
All right, we'll put that back there. I don't know. How about how about something from David Bowie? That's my favorite artist of all time, David Bowie. Uh, Pikachu V. If you didn't know, it really is. That's my favorite artist of all time. Code card right there. Put that back there. Ever so gentle. Our jumbo card. Now, if you remember last week or the week before, I found a uh, I found a Pikachu V. Exact same box at a different Meyer in the grocery section. My curiosity got the best of me. I had to know what was inside since it was left there randomly. So I got it, and I, I didn't realize until after I filmed the video, but it was $25. Normally $20. That's why I price checked those. And then that said normally $30, and that they were on sale for $20. So I don't know what to think. Um, and Meyer is a Midwest store. Indiana, Michigan, Ohio... Uh, Kentucky, Illinois, Energy. Um, I think in Wisconsin, too. Correct me if I'm wrong. Any, uh, any breaking family members in Wisconsin, uh, let me know. Oh, Toxtricity V. Welcome to the party. Shiny Pokemon goodness. Going into a full art bird keeper on our Black Friday video today. Black Friday 2021. Treating us very very well let's go ahead and sleeve both of those up and if i missed another state that has uh mire in them please let me know Whoop. wow all right in the exact same pack i mean you can't complain about that at all you really can't pikachu i'm going to put you right back there let's go into our next one of our shining fates opening Still trying to complete that set, so hopefully we will add one to the binder. We got a Bweasel, Shinx, Coughing, <clears throat> Energy. We got Eldegoss, Cramorant, Rusted Shield. I'll take an Applin. Why not? And a Galarian Weezing. I mean, who wouldn't take an Applin? There's the code card again. We'll go ahead and sleeve up our Applin. I don't remember if we have this one or not. Either way... If I didn't, you just saw it go into the binder. Ugh. Man, we are we are on a roll today, Breaking Family. Like, literally. A, a, a very, very lucky Pokemon streak. Energy. We got Gym Trainer. Floatzel. And another shiny Pokemon with Dedenne and a Manaphy. The luck. The absolute luck today. It is non-stop. Beautiful. Beautiful shiny, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. Take a, a moment to appreciate that shiny. Whoop! Right there. Okay. Here we go. Last booster pack from this Shining Fates pack. And then we're going to go into our next Shining Fates box. Can we get all four packs? All four packs with a shiny Pokemon? More Pico. Coffer. Going into an energy. It's going to be a lot of energies to pick up. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Anybody out there want to do it? I definitely don't. But I'm going to have to, right? It's my responsibility. I made the mess. I got to clean it up. You got to be responsible with that, right? Oh, and a hollow rare Rillaboom. Oh, we broke our lucky streak with Shining Fates. However... We can try it again right here. It was kind of weird that they had a bunch of Shining Fates. It was like literally all they had. I mean, they had those uh, Celebrations Pikachu figure boxes, but I mean, did you see the amount of Shining Fates that Meyer had? I was actually really, really shocked by it. And Meyer always did a, uh, a buy one, get one 50% off on their Pokemon cards for Black Friday stuff. However, I feel that uh, Pokemon cards are, are selling so well that they probably did not feel the need to do that deal again this year. Unless it's happening on Friday itself. Uh, like I said, obviously, I haven't filmed the Friday portion, e even though you've already seen it. So um, it may be in there. <laughs> I don't know. But as of right now, as of me recording this, uh, that deal was not going on. We got Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey, Energy. Going into a Cramorant. We got Thweevil. Oh, the Thweevil stole 
are shiny Pokemon. I'm blaming it on Tweevil. Easily. Blaming it on Tweevil. I don't remember which box was... Bo uh, which box... Uh, who picked out which box? I didn't pay attention, so... Hopefully one of you paid attention out there. Let me know in the comments. Was box one the one I picked out? Or was it the one Marie picked out? Going into a spinner rack. Snow with those snow vibes. Energy. Luckily we have no snow on the ground right now. Hopefully we can keep it that way. And a shiny Phalanx V. Going into Professor's Research. Alright, we'll take a shiny Phalanx V. Absolutely. Absolutely. The streak has started back up. Let's see if we can continue it. Whoop! With, uh, we got two more packs from Shining Fate. So, let's continue this streak with two more packs. Let's get a shiny in both of these packs. Breaking Family, I feel we can do it. I feel we can make it happen. Cacnea. Oh! I never learned my last... I know, that was lame, all right? Spinarak. Glossifer. I'm not going to apologize for being myself, okay? I know. I'm cringy. Uh, I'm probably a little too loud, but I'm having fun. I'm being myself, and I'm not going to apologize for being myself. Rusted Sword. Ah! Oh, we got gold! We got gold! Eternus VMAX and Indeedy in the exact same pack. Does that count as a shiny? I think we should put it in the same category. It's in the exact same spot. I think we should put it in the exact same category. Eternatus VMAX, gold and black Pokemon card. Whoo! Beautiful. Whoop! And in DDV. Whoop! One more pack. We got one more pack from Shining Fates. And then we are going to go to our Walgreen stuff. And then uh, and then you'll see the portion from, from uh, our shopping trip on Friday. Alright, here we go. Can we continue the streak? We got Grookey, Yanma, Chewtel, Eevee, Energy, Ball Guy, Floatzel, Team Yell, Tal. Oh, so close. So close. The boss ruined it. And a full art rose, but we redeemed ourselves. But I would say at least all three packs had a nice pull from it. So. I definitely consider that a win. I definitely, definitely do. In that rose, I mean, come on. Come on. That's an awesome card right there. That is uh, that is definitely, definitely a vibe. Just chilling in your comfy clothes, having a good time. Got the sunglasses on, got the hat on, giving a nice thumbs up. Absolutely a vibe, right? Okay, let's go into this. I, I don't know what this is all about. I checked the receipt. None of this was on sale at Walgreens. So this was full price. Once again, maybe on Black Friday, the day itself of Friday, it might be on sale. But when I purchased it on Wednesday, it was not on sale. Ultimate Collection 8. We've opened up the other Ultimate Collection boxes that usually pop up at Target. So kind of weird that we're only seeing them at Walgreens this time around. Never a good time. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Never a good time. This is packaged by a third-party Pokemon company. Or, this is packaged by a third-party company, not the Pokemon company. You can see it right there. But they are all real Pokemon cards. So uh, this package is guaranteed to contain one pack, one oversized EX or GX card, one rare card, one coin, one EX GX card, one hollow foil, and one pen. And as you can see right there, uh, there's some more text. But this is not packaged by the Pokemon company. Just a different company altogether. All right. There is what is on the back of it. That is what is on the front of it. Snorlax laughing at us because we just fell for it. <laughs> Every time. I never learned my lesson. All right. I'm going to need the uh, assistance of my Sylveon pen right here to open this up. I wonder how how well packaged these are. All right, here we go. Our jumbo card. I feel like that's the old size of the jumbos. Oh, Arcanine Break. Okay, I actually kind of like that. I'm surprised. Arcanine Break. I'm really actually shocked by that. I'll take it though. I'll take it. Arcanine Break for the win. Right, Breaking Family? Awesome. Oh, we get a booster pack? 
Wait, it doesn't say a boot. Oh, one pack. Did I? Oh, I don't know why it didn't like register. But okay, we get a pack inside of it. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and open it up. That changes my thoughts just a little bit, okay? At least we get a pack inside of it because I was originally going into this thinking we were not even going to get a pack. So, um, changes my thoughts just a little bit. However, I still don't think it's the absolute best, but I do feel like we're getting just a little bit more value now that I realize we're getting a pack inside of it. We got ourselves a electric energy, Matang, mighty in a beauty, Mudbray, and a hollow rare electrode. And we got a hollow rare, so that's definitely a win. There is the code card for that vivid voltage opening. Next up, we have. Here's our coin right here, Manaphy coin. Um, the pin is going to, oh, Blaze again. Awesome, okay, we'll take a Blaze again. And then here is, yep, everything else. That's it, inside of the box, boom, you can see. Put that back there ever so gentle. We have a Cartana, which is a rare. Reverse Hollow Magikarp, that's our Hollow. And a Mewtwo GX, which Look at the border on that Mewtwo. A little bit off-center, but hey, it's all right. We're, we love a good Air Pokemon situation. Nice Air Pokemon card. We'll put that right up there. Magikarp, you can go over there. And then this. Once again, packaged by a third-party company, not the Pokemon company. However, everything is real Pokemon cards inside of it. Inside of this package, we are guaranteed 20 cards, 20 sleeves. Does not say anything about a rare, a hollow, an ultra rare. I'm not saying it's not possible to pull one in here. However, it does not guarantee us one. Ah. And the sleeves, not the best of sleeves, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and open them up. Ah. And that way I can show you a little bit better and I'll even sleeve up a card so you can see. So there is the front of it. And there is the back of it. A little bit of a, a texture situation. But let's go ahead and sleeve up our Psyduck. But uh, that's what it would look like right there. Alright, just in case you're wondering. Boom. Probably not sleeves that I would purchase for like a tournament. But hey, if you like them, that's alright. Nothing wrong with that. Be boring if you all like the same thing. Alright, there's one card right there. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if there's at least a rare. Poplio, Alolan Vulpix. We got Girafferig, Palindrum situation, Ghastly, Pokemon Center Lady, Metal Goggles, something a little bit older-ish, kinda. Hyper Potion, Spinda, Swellow, looking so swell. Shuckle, Pierce. Yeah, wouldn't be a pack without an energy, right? Or another energy. Or another energy. And another energy. And another energy. So a total of one, two, three, four, five. Five out of the 20 cards go into energies. No hollows, no rares. So that kind of shows you what you're going to expect inside of that. And now we're going to go to the Friday portion. And just like that, we are in the collection room, doing it just a little bit different, changing up the scenery. Now, obviously what you're seeing is now the Friday portion of the opening. So we got stuff from Kohl's and we got stuff from Best Buy as well. Now going out on Friday was definitely a different experience as there was just not a lot out there. So earlier in the week was a lot better. So I'm gonna open up three. Marie, you're gonna open up three. Right. And then I'll open up the last one. So I will go ahead. Which one do you want? I want Blitz. You want that one? Okay, yeah. then I'll open up to pig. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Now this was a uh, $5.99 at Kohl's. Was not on sale at all. There's the code card right there. I'm gonna put that over there ever so gentle. And there is the Tapig and Suicune. Yep, yep, Suicune coin as well. All right, here we go. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about our Kohl's Pokemon cards right here. Okay, all right. We have ourselves a uh, Choodle, Shroomish. Oh, found my keys, lost them. Trubbish, 
Totodile splashing around. We got Energy, put that right over there. Shauna, Victini going into ooh, Reverse Hollow, Ninetales, and our rare is going to a Gudra, but hey, that's pretty good, right? Not bad. See, see what I did there? Yeah, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to move along. Oh, oh, okay, okay. There's the code card right there. I was proud of that. I was proud of that. I'm joke. sure you were. Okay. Um, I'll open up one Chilling Rain, and then I will go... Well, here, you tell me what three you're wanting to open up, and then I'll do the other. Well, obviously, I want this one. You want the Evolving Skies? I want this one. Fusion Strike. And this one. All right. So I'm left with Battle Styles and Chilling Rain. Now this one was also from Kohl's and this one must have been on some sort of sale because it says $4.99. However, when it rang up, it was $4.74. So still a little a bit above the $3.99, $4.19 price, but it was on some sort of sale, maybe like a 20 or 25% off type of situation. Maybe. But the other packs weren't, so that's kind of, kind of interesting. All right, here we go. Going into our Chilling Rain booster pack, we have a Crying Sobble. So sad. Ladybug, Squovit, Crab Brawler, Grookey, Energy, put that right over there. Impact Energy, Full Wacky, Porygon, not two, not three, not four, but two. Okay. <laughs> and a Galarian Surf Fetched. And a grap locked for the rare. At least it's a hollow. And a code card. Hey, I'll take card. a hollow any day. All right, now's the time. Tyranitar, sleeping Tyranitar. Finally make it happen. This one was from Best Buy, $3.99 for this booster pack. Sleeping Tyranitar, it's in here. It's in here. Are you sure? I'm feeling positive. Um, I'm feeling positive, Breaking okay. Family. Sleeping Tyranitar, finally. We got Bronzor. Murkrow, which is a bird. Fly oh. away, bird. <laughs> we got Horsey, Ligatung, Energy, Luxio, Weeping Bell. Aww. And. Not. Nice. Slash. Okay. All right, Marie, it's now your turn. Your turn, okay? Okay. There's the code card right there from that battle style. So I forgot to give that out. All right, Marie, you got your three packs right there. Chilling Rain. Fusion Strike, uh, Evolving Skies. Which one are I'm you? Let's start with this one. All right, you don't want to open up that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then which one do you want to get rid of over here? All right. Oh, you, no. You're getting, you're getting rid of the Fusion Strike? No. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> Chilling Rain, okay. Chilling Rain, I don't want to. Chilling Rain. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to pick out three. I picked out three. No, you, it's, it's, yeah, we just totally forgot about that one over there. All right, this one was from Kohl's once again, and that one has the Blitzel. Here's the code card. Code card right there, and it has the little Blitzel. And it do. That's stranded. It's stranded on the little ice, Marie. <laughs> Somebody guy. put a boat emoji down in the Save comments the guy. and rescue, rescue the Blitzel. Yep. All right, here we go. Fusion Strike. Let's see what we got here. You got that uh, Tinamo, Zora, Shelter. Perfect. You didn't yell energy, though. Oh, sorry. Energy! Oh, battle VIP pass. So that means Third something automatically that. goes to the, the VIP section. Oh, and Starmie gets to go to the VIP section. Congratulations, Starmie. Good job, Starmie. There's your lanyard. All right, Marie, which pack are you going into next? Evolving Skies? Yes. All right, a chance to pull that uh, Eeveelution. Uh, maybe an alternate art Eeveelution inside of here. Hope. Now, we already pulled the Leafeon. The Leafeon V alternate art uh -huh. was pulled in today's video. So let's see if we can add another uh, Eeveelution alternate art Pokemon card. There we go. All right, here we go. I believe in you, Marie. You got this. Okay. You got this. We right. have a, uh, a Swablu Zora going into a uh, energy. Energy. Perfect, perfect. Avalug, Sharpedo. And a hollow, is that, yeah, hollow rare Zorark. I'll take very, it. very nice. I will take it. Snorlax, how do you feel about that? All right. Snorlax wasn't sleeping. impressed. Sleeping. Snorlax wasn't impressed. So also sleeping. Also sleeping. That is correct. That is correct. So has no opinion. I, I wonder if that Snorlax is ever going to move. Somebody, we need a Poke Flute. We need a Poke Flute, somebody. All right. <laughs> Fusion Strike is your last pack. And then we're going to go back to uh, Chilling Rain as the very last pack opening. 
Okay, Fusion Strike, the newest set out currently. Here we go. We got that Wulu goodness. Stop and smell the roses. Sand Shrew. Energy. Perfect. Spongy Gloves. Frost Moth. And... Oh, hey, no. Look, one. No, it. so no. It's just so Throw that one. No. Throw that one. Well, it is a bird. Yes. Okay. Ah, perfect. Last one is yours. Here we go. Chilling Rain. Also, I feel like another difficult set trying to complete. Still need some more cards for the Pokemon card binder. All right. What are you here we go. For? Uh, just honestly, anything. anything. Anything that we need for the binder is what I'm hoping for. Okay. All right. We have a Vinipede, Steel, Porygon, Golet, Grookey, Energy. You can have that Snorlax. Kakuna Matata, Flannery. We got a Helmet. Cub Fu and Breaking Family. We're at the very last card. I'm gonna give you the code card right here. Can I get a drum roll, please? Thank you very much. And Breaking Family, we are ending on. Oh, that is such a glare. Did Thank you, you fix it? I did. <laughs> I couldn't even see it. We are ending on two's better than one, right? Yep. Oh, 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 oh we got something. Going into a full art Blaziken V. Blaziken, you did not ruin the party. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.